Hi beautiful souls, welcome and welcome back to the Soul Healer channel, I'm Gui. In today's reading, we are going to be looking at the main karma that you need to deal with in this lifetime on the path of finding or achieving your life purpose. Firstly, we will look at the karmic pattern relating to your life purpose in this lifetime that the universe wants you to know about. We will deep dive into the root of the karma into how that karma is being manifested in your life and what you are supposed to learn from that karma. Next, we will check how the karma is affecting your life, what normally triggers your wounds and your not so healthy habits of reacting to such triggers that need to be changed. Thirdly, we will see which of your main chakras are affected by the karma, what the possible symptoms are and some advices to get these chakras back to balance. I will give you a short distant Reiki healing session specified only for the karma mentioned in this reading. You can of course watch this healing part again as many times as you like if you feel resonate with it. Last but not least, I will ask for some advice and support messages from the universe for your case. Now, Enough for the introduction part, let's begin with the reading. Okay, let's go to the first part. What is the repeated karma pattern does the universe want you to know about? Firstly, let's look at this opposition card explained by this Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel that the karma pattern that the universe wants you to know is relating to relationship. This relationship could be between you and your parents or one of your parents could be between you and somebody you are close to, like your partner, your friend, could be between you and your colleagues or your boss. It could be in many kinds of relationship because normally when you speak about karma pattern that pattern is n not uh, manifested in only one way or one relationship it will be uh, manifested in many different relationships around you because basically uh, as above so below so it will be since you have that karma so that karma will, uh, will be present almost everywhere in your life um, you may be not aware of it but actually if you think you spend time and think about it you will see that kind of pattern present everywhere in your life and here uh, when I look at this kind of, uh, of, of pattern I can see that um, you are quite a soft person and you tend to almost always avoid conflicts you tend to do what other people tell you to do just to avoid conflict. You may think that there's, there should be some problem here and there, but in the end you think maybe they are right and you are wrong and they are better and you are not as good as them. So maybe you, just, you should just follow them and, and it may be better for you. And that shows clearly that you are not aware of who you are, of the real you. And you are kind of, so you have, you, you, you would rather dim your light to avoid conflict. So it's the thing that I see here. Another thing is that you are quite sensitive 
uh, towards other person, other people, and you could you you are you are let's say you are aware of the interconnectedness between things in your life and the interconnectedness among people. You appreciate the relationship uh, that you have in your life, and you try not to mess things up. But the problem here is that you don't really look at the the relationships in your life in a higher perspective. You just look at it as a kind of you should try always not to create conflicts with people, always do things to make other people happy, and you think that you would be happy if other people happy as well. But there are things that are more important than that. That is yourself. What would make you happy? Would really uh, always satisfying people would make you happy, or is there? A deeper meaning behind that, and it's really the the thing that you you need to deep dive and to hear. Yeah, and so let's look at. The second part, the Juno with partnership and seven of cups, the devil and the ace of wands. So here uh, again you see the partnership is the, the the karma that you have is and and is in reverse. It means the partnership between you and other people are not manifested in the way that it should be manifested. With the Seven of Cups, I can feel that you you are kind of romantic. You have quite many dreams. You can you can you are very good at imagining things but either uh, you either you have too many dreams that you don't know what is the most important for you or you know what you what what is your 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 biggest dream but you don't know how to manifest it in your real life and of course the the reason why you don't know how to 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 manifest your dream is because of this devil card or because you always try to dim your light to 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 satisfy other people It's like you feel like you are committed to a relationship. You are devoted to the relationship. You always want to to make it better, to make the to, the relationship better. But you but you don't know that making the relationship better by dimming your light is not the way that you should do. A good relationship should mean both sides should benefit from it, not just one side. And um, I have some other uh, explanation cards here. So it's like so 
here I feel that uh, many of you uh, are somehow aware that there should be some problems in your relationship with other people but you kind of refuse to face that reality and to solve that problem And um, with this Ace of Wands, um, I feel that what the universe wants you to do is to really look deep in your in yourself, in the, in your soul, to discover what you really want, to recognize the truth in the relationship that you are having. And, and to and to believe in yourself more. Believe in your ability to express your light without destroying the relationships belief in your ability to to solve the problem to solve the conflicts in the best way without hurting other people and um, with the third card here, Scorpio investigates, explained by the Hermit and the Page of Wands. I think it's quite clear here the message. The universe wants you to really, to really go in within your, yourself to investigate the situation to investigate yourself of course and to really see through the all the problems within different relationships that you are having and looking for ways in a passionate way to solve the problem and to hear the wounds to change your situation yeah so that's it i think that's that's basically the repeated karma pattern that you should know about so now let's look at the second part of the reading here we will look deeper into the karmic pattern that we have talked about as you can see here uh, i have different cards for answering different questions that i have asked the universe um, these two cards uh, are for answering the question, what is the cause or the root of the karma? What happened in the past, in some of your past lives that caused the karma that you are now experiencing? This card is to answer the question, how is that karma manifested in your current life? This is to answer the question, um, what are you supposed to learn from the karma? This is to answer the question, what are the hidden things related to this karma pattern that you should know about? And these last two cards are to answer the question, what are the signs telling us that you are healed 
from that karma. Okay, so now let's look at the first two sets of cards to see the roots of your karma. Here I have Scorpio, explained by King of Swords. And this card, and next we have uh, Taurus in reverse with two of wands. Ace of Pentacles and these three cards. Okay, let's see. So, with this Scorpio and King of Swords, I feel that in your past lives, um, you tend to be a very straightforward, straight for the cause, a very fighting spirit. But of course, that goes with uh, another character that is, you are a bit cold hearted and you sometimes act that without considering other people's emotion you just do or you just did what you thought was right without considering other people's ideas and and this and this means you, your way of thinking in the past life follow a kind of dogma. So you followed what the society thought was right. But of course, it doesn't mean that it's exactly right because it's just the kind of society trend and that trend could be right, could be wrong, it could be old, it could be not valid anymore, but you just follow it without really considering, without thinking twice if it's appropriate or not. Um, with this Taurus, Two of Wands and Ace of Pentacles, I could see that in your past life you were a kind of person who who tended to purchase wealthy you wanted to your desire your main desire was to earn money was to become healthy and to to to, to to be respected by other people and you did that almost at any price and you you seem to 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 not respect the commitment in the family so you thought that earning money is enough to maintain a family you don't need to to share emotions to other members of your family you work and you think that this is enough I've earned enough for the whole family and I don't need to do more
and of course that's a kind of limited thinking the kind of not seeing the bigger picture of a real commitment of a real relationship of a real family so let's look at the next card this is how the how is the karma manifested in your life nowadays okay so six house so basically i could see that is manifested not just in your working environment but also in all of your activities in all of your daily activities of interacting with other people of serving other people of doing all kinds of services not just to your families but also to other people around you and this card is explained with the two of cups in reverse it means that in the daily activities you as i said in the karma you tend to always dim your lights and you don't really pay respect to yourself you are lack of self-love so what else do we have here we have we have this card here showing that you are a kind of romantic person you need to learn learned many things and you need to learn about being patient with other people with with all of the normal daily activities you could see that it's very opposite to what you did in your past life in your past life you were straightforward you did what you want you didn't care about other people's emotion you were the king of swords it means you did the big things you wanted to become wealthy but now you have to maybe kind of struggle with everyday lives activities in the past you didn't care about people's emotion now you need to experience that from other people people would treat you like you treated people in your past life and you need to learn all of that experience so that you could understand how people feel when you treated them unfair uh, so let's now look at the third set of cards this is about what are you supposed to learn from the above karma pattern so we have here the descendants descendants of course is about other people about the interaction about how you deal with other people who come to your life queen of swords we have this card mastery 
toxic situation or relationship. So, what you are supposed to learn from from the karma that you're experiencing is that now you have experienced how other people treat you unfair. So what you need to do, you need to stand up and willing to deal with kind of toxic situation or relationship. You need to keep your clear ideas. You need to to see the truth in the relationship. You need to understand where the relationship needs to be fixed. What is your value? And you need to learn also to to make people respect your real value. Well, people may tend to think that um, when you did something wrong in the past, you should be punished by that. And in this case, you treated people badly in the past. You didn't care about people's emotion in the past. You only pay attention to making money, and now you had to, and now you have to to pay the price. You have to experience what other people experienced by you in the past. But of course, it's not basically the purpose of the karma. The purpose of the karma is for you to learn something. And what you need to learn is not just experience, not just to experience what other people have experienced by your bad behavior, but also to learn how to overcome that kind of situation by yourself so that you can have other people do so as well. And that's the purpose of the real lesson here. So now let's look at the next set of cards. This is about what are the hidden things relating to this karmic pattern that you should know about. What are the hidden things? Let's see, we have the third house communication. Hmm. So it means the key to to solve your 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 problem now or to heal your wounds from the past is communication. Communication has a very important role in your life. You need to know how to communicate effectively with other people so that they respect you and of course you should pay respect to them as well and you should of course know how to take care of other people in the appropriate way You should consider other people's emotions, of course, but you should not just considering other people's emotion without considering your emotion yourself. Everything has to be in balance. Give and take. Give and take. And what do we have more here? You need to learn to communicate effectively to make the conversation run smoothly. You need to put your passion in your conversation so that people could feel inspired and also could feel the respectation 
towards you as well. When people treat you badly, you should be brave, stand up for yourself, to speak the truth. And to use your communication, to use your communicative skills to to speak your truth, to ask for the respect of other people. And now let's look at the last question in this part. What are the signs telling you that you are healed from that karma? Once you are healed, then what are the signs that tell you that you are healed? We have partnership once again. And we have what we will have here, Pisces. So for this partnership again, of course you should have, when you are healed, you should have healthy relationships with other people. And what else? We have this four of cups in reverse. You have strategy have this coming and you have this assertion it means it means you know how to deal with other people in all kinds of situations you know when to accept other people's opinions when not and how to how to speak your truth how to deal with it in a calm way, not become angry or not become anxious and and you are consistent with your opinions. With this Pisces card, here you see another time two fishes so of course you could see the relationship here once again and with pisces of course pisces are very sensitive and and basically sensitivity is one of the characteristic of you in this lifetime and what you and 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 when you are healed from from this uh, wound, then you should know how to work on your boundaries. You know how to set boundaries with other people to protect yourself and to love yourself in an appropriate way. Now we will look more deeply um, at the influence of the pattern in your current life not just how it is manifested but how you react to it and all the hidden things behind it as well so once again the questions about the um, once again, uh, these are the cards I use for this part of the reading. This is to answer the question. How is this karma pattern affecting your current life? These two cards are to answer the question. What are the important triggers of this karmic pattern. This is to answer the question, what are the 
viewers habits in dealing with the triggers that need to be changed and these three cards are to answer the question what truth should the viewers know about such habits so now let's look into each card so the first one is how is this karmic pattern affecting the viewer's life we have aries in reverse so i can see quite clearly that the the karmic pattern makes you less decisive in your actions so we have the four of cups in reverse here yeah, the, the this four of cups is quite different uh, than the four of cups in the traditional tarot deck it means the tradition you have the tradition the habit what you think is true what does the society um, expect you to behave to do that kind of thing and we have here this card just ignore the word within the next few weeks because here it doesn't mean that within the next few weeks it just mm, the the image here is what you should focus on it means what you really want to do what's your desire in life and it's affected by the tradition by the society by some kind of frame because of that you are not confident enough in making it real making your desire real this you can see an old car is like your way of thinking is the kind of the 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 tradition or the habit that has become old-fashioned that is not appropriate anymore that needs to be renewed and here you can see the possibility to make the car new again the possibility to express your free will And this, this possibility has been weakened by the traditional way of thinking created by the karmic pattern that you are having. So it's how the karmic pattern is affecting your life. And next, we look at the triggers of these patterns. We have here beef house, no passion again. And what is this? Six house, sustainability once again appears. So, the karmic pattern is normally triggered when you have some kind of passion and at the same time you have some kind of responsibilities to do so you can see the conflicts between what you really want and what the other people or the society expect you to fulfill so here the fifth house passion 
is explained with the four of pentacles here you can see the birds protecting his nest together with some jewelry and basically when you have some passion when some passion appears in your mind you tend to think oh it's not safe it's not secure enough i have too many things to protect i have too many things to do and keeping my life stable is more important than following my passion because this passion is too risky i don't know what i will get if i follow it maybe i will lose everything else that i'm having now so basically it's how you are thinking and with this six house sustainability ex explained by the sun the sun here basically is also your passion once again it's repeated so when the passion appears and and the passion is not in line with your responsibility your services your daily life that passion tends to die quite quickly like a shooting star very bright but then appeared very quickly as well just after several seconds and yeah very likely so desire will disappear your desire tends to disappear very quickly with the high possibility and this one means that you tend to lose opportunities because you have dimmed your light because you lose your passion too easily and too quickly that's why when the opportunity appears you tend to miss it it's so sad so next the habits in dealing with the triggers that needs to be changed the habits your habits that need to be changed we have mercury messages we have the star well here i can see that the habit that you need to change is the way you receive the messages from the universe the other stars they bring the universe uh, brings you some opportunities some hopes but either you don't see the messages or you just ignore them and consider them not important you tend to dig a hole for yourself and always goes back to that hole again and again cannot get out of it you think you you think or you want to choose the easy way to do but actually the easy way is not the wood way it's not the appropriate way for you it's not the way that you can develop that it's not the way that you can that you can can it's not the way to find the happiness inside you and 
also your habit doesn't help you to look at the the current situation in a new perspective. So let's look at the last cards about the truth that you should know about this habit. We have 11th house, 11th house, basically it's about community, it's about the interactions among people, about all of your surrounding communities. This is Taurus Cultivate and the last one is Vesta half. Uh, okay. So, what you should know about such habits? Here we have the Two of Cups in the eleventh house. So. What should you know about such habit? So here you can see that two of cups here is not the two of cups. It's not like the two of cups in the, the, the traditional tarot deck. It, this two of cups means harvest. So the saying is, the saying is uh, you reap what you sow. So... Here it means that when you still keep the habit of not daring to take risk and to always dim your light, then you will not feel the abundance that you are worthy of. And, and moreover, um, your habit will not help you figure out the pros and cons of the relationships that you are having and you will not be grounded enough to deal with all the situations happening in your life. So the next card is Taurus Cultivate, explained by Eight of Cups, Social Life. So here it means your habit makes you not function very well in the social life. You tend to be dependent on other people. You try to cultivate the relationship, but to the extent that you become dependent on them and you may feel lost if they leave you and if there's some problem in the relationship. Here we have two of wands and we have this upright. It means um, the habits uh, of you dealing with the comic situation now makes you less upright in communicating with other people. You may try to be clear, but somehow your message conveyed to other people are always not clear enough. I mean, the way you convey the, the messages to other people seem 
always not clear enough for them and that's why they tend to just ignore your messages more or less so lastly we have heart this is what you really have inside you deep inside you your desire what you really value deep in deep in your soul we have here the empress in reversed we have develops over time so it's very difficult for you to develop what you really desire because of your habit you have you really have potential much potential to do something really big really good not just for you but for other people as well because you are really sensitive and you know how to appreciate other people but the thing is you you are you don't have enough courage to discover the real you what your potential is it's like you are always pregnant but you cannot give birth to a baby to a beautiful baby and this we have temperance so your habit of dealing with the karmic pattern makes you not um i don't want to use the word happy what i want to use is that you are not balanced inside you you cannot really enjoy the small things in around you while the real you the real person the real you is the one that is enjoying everything in life the smallest things the smallest things in life you can enjoy it and you should feel happy all the time if you you are innocent But now you seem to be always nervous. You're afraid. You are afraid of what people would, would say if you do something, let's say, not appropriate. Yep, you really are losing your playfulness in all the things that you do and it's and playfulness should always be the way that you deal with life deal with all the things happening in life you play with it you grow with it like a child learning when playing now let's come to the healing part of the reading well now you can um, just focus on these three cards uh, this part is for the last part of the reading i just prepared in advance um, so now we will have a look at the main chakras that are affected by the karmic by the karmic pattern that you are experiencing in this lifetime let's discover each of them um actually regarding this karmic pattern i'm guided to pick three main chakras or three three cards uh, 
for the for the main problems that the pattern is causing you uh, so the last the, the first card is life purpose and this is the throat chakra this is very funny because because the main topic that I'm doing for this reading is life purpose and now it is a, it appears in front of our eyes it's really very nice the second card is grounding okay and the last card is peace and not be nicer so for this cards i will read from the books so this is the can you see that this is the chakra reading cards and we will look at number 22 life purpose number 22 life purpose so you can see this is the throat chakra so what it says here is that now is the time for you to manifest your path into reality what is your life purpose you may ask if we are all sparks of the divine love of the universe here to express love into reality then it would make sense that your life purpose is to do what you love to do and share it with the world take a moment to ask yourself what it is that you love to do what brings you heart's joy sometimes there is fear or resistance around your life purpose or what you love to do fear such as rejection failure not earning enough money or even a fear of success fear is the natural part of the process of stepping out of your comfort zone and is often created when you hold yourself back if you are waiting for the fear to subside before you start to do what it is that you love you could be waiting forever there is a lot in the old saying fear the fear and do it anyway it is time for you to dance into your life purpose and to shine your light upon this world when you listen to your heart and start to plant and water the seeds required to step forward onto your path miracles happen unexpected doors open and opportunities you could never imagine come your way when you decide to live your life purpose and walk your own path the universe is there is there to meet you with an abundance of blessings pulling this card can also indicate that you are read, already walking your life path it will not always be easy though so hold on enjoy and take the right of your life so as you can see the karmic pattern that you are experiencing is really harming the path on finding your life purpose and now is the time that you should wake up from that long sleeping so let's look at the next card number four grounding so number four grounding grounding this is the earth star chakra if you don't know about it the earth star chakra is the chakra that is uh, 
basically below the, the first chakra let me check the star chakra so here the earth star chakra is located approximately six inches below the feet and aligns us with the beautiful heart of the earth it anchors our light and soul deeply into the planet allowing us to feel supported grounded and held on our journey so this grounding card so you have attracted these cards into your world as a sign that it's time to get grounded you may have been feeling a little scattered with your thoughts and feelings and finding it difficult to focus and concentrate Maybe you're feeling stressed and busy due to the many demands on you and are finding it difficult to create and manifest positive outcomes and experiences in your life. No, you are not alone. This is a very common feeling and it is easy to get caught up in the whirlwind and craziness that surrounds you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for you and the best thing for you right now is to get centered and grounded. The most powerful way to do this is to align with and reconnect to the beautiful Mother Earth. So the current, uh, so the current karmic pattern uh, you are experiencing in this lifetime is causing some problems with your earth star chakra as well and specifically in your ability to ground your ideas your activities your desire and and other things among other things and that's why the universe is calling you to try to do more grounding so that you can manifest things into your life in a more effective way so let's check the third card number 31 piece anyway this piece belong to the third eye chakra Oh, um, sorry, the crown chakra. So, you have called upon this card to remind you that peace is available to you in each moment. Peace lives within you and surrounds you at all times and you are encouraged to connect with the powerful healing vibration of your soul and the universe. Your life may have been feeling out of control and full of stress up late. And it is time to stop for a moment and recognize and deeply connect to the peace that lies within you. You may feel the urge to meditate or simply go somewhere in nature where you are able to sit by yourself to feel the peaceful energy that is being offered to you at this time. When you can stop and connect with this energy, it will invoke a deep process of cleansing and renewal, which will make you feel lighter, clearer and more energized. Sitting with the peacefulness of your being will, feel, will bring about deep healing on many levels. We are all striving to find peace in the world and we don't realize that all the striving actually stops us from truly being in the energy of peace. It is now time to stop and be in the peace that resonates in every cell of your being. If you have asked a specific question, this card is a sign that peace is present and is the answer. Feel the peace in your soul and faith in its magical essence 
Okay, it means that the current uh, karmic pattern is really interfering with the peace inside you. That's why you tend to feel nervous and not happy in your life. And you are calling to finding the peace again, the peace inside you, the peace in your inner self, the peace inside your soul. Now I will provide you a short Reiki healing session to support you to heal these chakras. So now I will start the session. You can close your eyes, open your eyes and see the candle, no problem. You can see the flame jumping. It's like your inner child want to enjoy the life. It wants to play. It wants to express itself its desire. I can feel very emotional now. Your soul is really calling you. Please listen to me. I have many things to tell you. Please awaken from your long sleep. It's time for you. You are a bright star. You should know about that. You should manifest. You should have people. You should have people light their light as well. I hear the word healing. So I think many of you are healers. Look at the flame.
It's like the flame is growing, growing and growing. You should heal yourself so that you can hear other people. You should heal yourself so that you can inspire other people to do the same. Look at your energy. It's really very pure. It's jumping out of joy. The joy inside you needs to be expressed. So, so the universe tells me that I can end the healing now and I just want to uh, repeat that you can replay this part of uh, the video again in order to rebalance your chakras and gradually heal your wounds from the karma that you are experiencing. So this is the last part of my reading today and it's about the advice and support messages from the universe for you. Let's discover each card, each set of card here. So the first one is opposition, confrontation, explained by the death. And there's two cards. So here it means the the advice from the universe for you is that please be brave to change your life to be reborn into a new person to face the reality and to see clearly into all of the troubles you are experiencing and be strong be determined on the way to discover yourself. So the next one is Eight House Mystery. Of course, this is death and rebirth as well. So The message here is that be brave to go into the mystery, to go into the hell and to dig deep into the karmic pattern that you are having. What's the real problem there? 
what's the lessons you need to learn, what's the work you need to do. And after discovering all the problems, you should have enough courage to move on, to change your life and see what happens next for you. And this is what your soul really like because it's very playful. As I could feel before, it's a very playful soul. It likes to take risks, to, to discover the unknown. So, the third message is a north mode. Of course, when you hear from your wounds, you will be able to discover your purpose in life. And basically, it's what your souls want, of course. And I, th I believe it's what you want as well. So, be brave to embrace your desire, what you really want in life. With all of your passion, dare to dare to take risk and be brave to and always be ready to 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 rip. And always be ready to harvest all the fruits that you are growing now. The fruits may be sour, may be sweet, but if it's but if they are sour. You should know why they are sour and you should know how to how to take care of it so that the next season the fruits will become sweet again. Be persevere with your action, with your pur purpose, with your path. Dare to learn to collect knowledge from all the things that you are experiencing and you will experience in the future. Always look to the future with hope. And you are promised to be praised for your achievements and you will be recognized for the achievements that you can achieve in your life. The next message is Taurus Cantivate. This is the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords. So here it means be your own changer of your life. Don't wait for anyone. To change your life, to change your situation, you should be active in it, you should be brave to change your life and to leave, you should be brave to leave the unhealthy situation. Be confident in yourself, in your ability, because you are a hero in your life. Even though the future is unclear, but as I said before, believe in yourself and believe in the potential that you can achieve and you will have them. You will see the future gradually once you dare to step forward. 
and the last message is seven house of course we see all kinds of relationships in your reading already this is the high priestess it means in all kinds of relationships in your life you should listen to your intuition listen to your soul because your soul is very experienced it should be an old soul and as i have uh, sensed your your souls could be healing souls as well so try to listen to what your intuition tell you and act according to your intuition dare to follow the way into the unknown and be persevere with it dare to take out all the old-fashioned way of thinking behavior even though you may be judged by some other people even by the people who are close to you but it's your intuition that will tell you to do what you what is best for you try to look at the bigger picture of all the things happening around you and you will see how the universe function when you have some problem just ask and the universe will answer and will give you guidance to help you through the difficult moments. And be ready to change your life now. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Mm last thing that i want to say is that i'm really new to this uh, youtube uh, channel and since i'm an introverted person so it's very difficult for me to uh, to to do this kind of readings and to speak uh, like this uh, but i'm trying my best to improve it uh, gradually and hopefully um, i have the support from many people out there uh, so uh, this is only a general reading if you want to contact me to 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 have your karma read specifically only for you you can contact me through my website and uh, there you can read uh, about my service as well and if you're interested you can contact me and we can work together so thank you once again for your patience with my reading today and see you next time bye bye